I'm MST3 Sticks Road, and today we're going to be talking about what happens when the O2 sensor on a gas meter goes out. Let's say you're getting ready to go out on the field. All of a sudden, you turn your gas meter on, it's not working. So, today what we're going to need is the gas meter, this handy dandy little screwdriver that's got two different sizes, and the Gasler Quattro Technical Reference Guide from BW Honeywell. All right, now the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take out your manual here, turn it to page 62, which has all of the instructions on how specifically to do this. And then page 63 has got a diagram of the meter with all your different sensors and their placements. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that your screwdriver here is on the hex head. Right here, just pull that screw out. Now, once that's done, see this tab right here? You just pop that up, your battery pack comes right out. Then you're going to take your screwdriver, turn that rod around to where it's now the Phillips head, and unscrew these two screws. You got two screws, one in this corner and one in this corner. Want to make sure you have those loose. And then the four screws in the back here. Once you have those screws loose, you can then pop that off. Just make sure this filter here stays right in place if it doesn't need replacing. All right, so once you have it flipped over, this screw, this sensor right here, you can see on the diagram is the O2 sensor. I wanna pull that out. You can see on here, there are three prongs two that are conducting, and one that is not. When we get our new sensor, you can see it's the same way. This makes it really easy to line it up, as it only has three holes. So right in there, just place it in. It might require a little bit of movement to try and get the prongs in those holes. Once it goes in, it just fits in perfectly. Once you have that done, you take the cover, make sure the filter's in place, the cover goes right back on. You're going to take two screws, put them in this back corners, tighten them up, and you can replace the battery pack, and that tab is just going to pop right back into place. Now, you can get the screws back in and tighten them up. Now, the manual says to use three to four inch pounds of torque. Now, I don't have a torque wrench that small, so I just go to hand tight. Flip it right back around to the hex head. Screw right there in the back of the tab. and just tighten it on up. Once you have that completed, now would be a great time to go calibrate it as you have a new sensor and want to make sure everything works correctly. And that is how you replace the O2 sensor and a four gas meter. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to like it.